Good evening. My name is Margaret Hoover. I'm honored to be included in tonight's programming. While I wish I could be there in person to join all of you for this wonderful and momentous occasion. Similar to my program on PBS Firing Line, the museum and library brings together the brightest minds and freshest voices to engage in a conversation of ideas about important issues confronting our nation. We both work to summon Americans in a rigorous examination of the choices we made in our history and must make together as a society. As we look towards the challenging years ahead, everyone should think about and engage in debate about the America we want to create for the 21st century. The PMML allows us to better understand the sacrifices made by our military every day and the importance of our shared values. These stories are an important reflection of this country's history, the service members that have fought and still fight to protect our democracy. Stories like Sergeant Enoch Kanaya's, preserved through the Holt Oral History Program at the Museum and Library. After the bombing of Pearl Harbor, Sergeant Kanaya and his family were forced to dispose of most of their property and move to the Minidoka internment camp due to their Japanese heritage. Despite growing up in an internment camp, Working in a motor pool and changing oil and greasing trucks for $8 a month, Kanaya persevered and joined the United States Army to help protect his country and keep others from experiencing the persecution he had survived as a child. Sergeant Kanaya was part of a replacement group of soldiers for the 442nd Infantry, an all-Japanese regiment during World War II tasked with protecting the Maritimes Alps, separating Italy and France from the Germans along the Gothic Line. A few months into his deployment, the 442nd was able to penetrate the Gothic line and push the Germans back. It wasn't until 2011 that they were recognized with congressional gold medals. Sergeant Kanaya makes it clear that he wants it to be known that he is not a hero. Because the heroes I, 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 I would say are those that we had to bury overseas because those are the ones that made the supreme sacrifice for us so that we can come home. The inspiring story of Petty Officer 3rd Class Mary Rogerson is also available at the PMML. Mary always had a sense of adventure that made her curious about people of diverse backgrounds, eventually leading her to enlistment in the U.S. Navy in 1973. Although things were changing in the U.S. Navy, some men still thought that women had no place there. Similarly, racial issues emerged. She even states in her interview. Yeah, I didn't really feel the pressure of, you know, um, discrimination or racism or anything like that because I always had the mindset that we're all in, we're all um, the same. Mary was considering a full-time career in the Navy before two of her brothers were killed by gun violence within a space of a year, and the Red Cross could only help her back for one of the funerals. Faced with the family's turmoil, Mary suppressed her own pain, eventually leading her to leaving the Navy in 1976. She got a job with the Acute Rehab Program at North Chicago VA and went on to continue her education in behavioral health, earning her PhD in education. She established and managed NICASA, the Northern Illinois Council on Alcoholism and Substance Abuse, as well as the Lake County Veterans and Family Services Foundation, which she founded in her retirement and still leads today. These are just two of the over 200 plus stories documented through the PMML's Holt Oral History Program. Yet their oral history program is just one way the PMML provides information and education. Live and virtual programs, television shows, curatorial exhibits, and more are utilized to showcase military history, military affairs, and national security matters through the lens of a diverse base of citizen soldiers. I am so proud to be able to be a small part of that tonight and to support the PMML's crucial mission. Thank you for your time and enjoy the rest of this marvelous evening.